everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Becca and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about all the houseplant things and today I'm here with a very exciting collab I've been doing some more collabs lately and it's been a lot of fun to get in the plant community and collaborate with some other creators if you didn't see my video with Adam and Nicole you should definitely check it out it is hilarious and sure to make you laugh your butt off. After I posted that video, I asked you guys who I should collaborate with next, and there was a resounding answer. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that it's happening. Today, I'm going to be collaborating on this video with Harley G. You know her, you love her. She is one of our lovely plant mamas on YouTube, and I'm so excited to be working on this video with her. Go check out Harley if you haven't already. I have no idea why you would be subscribed to me and not to her, but if that is the case, definitely go check her out and see what she's working on in this collab video. We have a very fun and interesting concept that is inspired actually by the Sorry Girls, one of my favorite YouTube channels. We have sent each other a box of thrifted items that we are going to upcycle to make into plant DIYs. And I am so excited about this. Harley actually sent me a video explaining all the items and a little bit of her shopping journey. So we're gonna watch that together and I'm very excited to see what she picked up for me. Hopefully nothing too crazy. <laughs> I'm headed out to find some things for Becca to flip and I am excited. I've been brainstorming some ideas I could have in mind, uh, but it's a thrift store, so we'll see what we end up actually finding. So let's go. That's true. Oh, that's cute. That's actually really cute. This will be a good thing. Okay, that's an option. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe that could be like some sort of hanging thing. I don't know. <laughs> Baskets. She knows I love baskets, I'm sure. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> the thrift store always has the weirdest things. Here's a brief overview of my cart. So some things I kept in mind as I was thrift shopping is I wanted to get like kind of not weird thing. So that wall that she's standing in front of is actually inspiration for one of the items that I sent her. So. <laughs> like kind of weird things a few odd things that she'll definitely have to think about yeah but I didn't want to get anything like so weird that I couldn't even think of something to make out of it the first thing I got is this little thing this little frame I'm not sure what it was meant to be to begin with but it's it's actually actually broken, it's missing huh? pieces here and then a knob on this side but when I saw this knew I was gonna get it super pumped about it I think it's so so cool uh it's kind of like deep so i think that there are a lot of options for things that becca could do with it i'm not going to say the ideas i've had but i've had like four different ideas for what could be done with this harley what are your ideas <laughs> it could be like a plant shadow box hmm? make something really cool next item is this silver platter i think it is it called patina or is that like just a garden pot thing but when it like changes color like this I think it's genuine silver. I could be wrong though. It's pretty heavy. Maybe it's like silver plated. Anyway, my sister actually went shopping for all this stuff with me and we each had different ideas for something Becca could do with this. So I'm, I'm excited to see like which way she ends up going or if she finds something completely different to do with this. But I think it'll be really cool something. We'll see. I really think this is cool. I hope Becca thinks it's cool. We'll see. And I think it's cool. <laughs> kind of a last minute grab, but it is this. It's like this pendant light cover. Yeah, it just kind of has these cool cutouts. Again, this is kind of different. I really like it. This is something I would want. I would see at the DI and buy to make something for myself at home, but I think it'll be a good one. And I can be like a grow light cheese. holder. Just like use it as a pot holder. Milk holder thing. I actually have this. Um, I've DIY'd something out of it. We'll see what she does, but I thought it was really cute. We will see last two are kind of the weird ones of the group oh my gosh that is so funny i literally picked up one of those candlestick things and i almost sent it to her that is so funny i do think she'll still be able to do something cool this is like a what is it called a wall sconce 
I thought this was really cool, really unique. It seems like pretty heavy duty. This one is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult. Very interested to see what she does. If she can DIY something cool out of this, I will be so impressed. Kind of cool to say. Okay, I have an idea because I almost sent something like that to Harley, so let's see. <laughs> As it is okay this is the last thing i believe it's a candle holder that's meant to stand like this it looks like a cactus that's what made me grab it i wanted to get some like i wanted to get a few like ob not obvious but ones that there are a lot of different options of things she could do and then i wanted to get a couple of more weird ones to really like test that creativity diy skill you know so this is definitely that i think this is the hardest one of the bunch to come up with something for but it kind of is like planty looking. It looks like a dead tree or something. This is really the one to uh, push her limits. So good luck, Becca. That's all I can say. So that was everything I grabbed. I'm excited to see what she ends up doing with them. But I'm going to wrap these up, package them really good, take them to the post office, and ship them off. Let's do this. Okay, so that is what's in this box. So let's check out these items. Okay, I am back from the store and I have all of my supplies. So I'm going to just tackle all of these pieces one by one. So the first project that I'm going to be tackling is this, what I'm going to use as a lampshade. So the first thing that I got for this is some terracotta paint. This is just regular acrylic terracotta paint. So what I need to figure out is how to get this inner section off. And I feel like it will be, well, I feel like it'll be easy, but it might not actually be that easy. I might have to check Daniel's tools and see if he has any heavy duty wire cutter. Let's see if I can cut this. Whoa, I should be wearing protective eyewear. I really should. Ugh, why am I out of breath? Woo, all right, hard part is over. Now I just need to mix my paint and really that's all. This is going to be so easy. Yeah, I think that that looks good just as is to be honest with you. So let's get to painting. It is obvious to me that this is going to need many layers. <laughs> I did not realize, but it makes sense. It makes sense. So I might have to wait for this first coat to dry and then I will have to come back. layer of paint is finished and it already looks so so good I love this so much I think that I would like to keep the inside silver um, I've seen a lot of grow light covers have a silver inside I'm not exactly sure why but if the pros are doing it I'm gonna do it so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do a second layer of paint this has dried a bit more of a pinky color than I would prefer. So I think in the future, I might kind of mix that color with an orange to create more of a true terracotta, but it's really not bad. I mean, I think that it turned out really, really nice. It looks very cute. And I have my grow light here so that I can show you how I would set this up. Put this through. Oh my gosh, that fits literally perfect. This could not be more perfect. I love it. And there we go. There you have a grow light pendant. It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And I've been needing a cover for this grow light for so long. So this is literally like on point with the DIY. All right. Next thing on the agenda is going to be working with this it looks like a milk crate. And what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm going to be adding macrame all around the edges here. And I'm just going to do a little macrame design here. This right here is actually a macrame piece that I made for my wedding. And it's just a bunch of pieces of macrame hoard put onto this kind of like a wreath starter. So I'm just going to quickly line this whole thing around. I'm just gonna do that and I will catch up with you when that is finished.
Okay, so I wanted to show you what I'm working with here. So I have covered the front of this piece with some macrame rope, and as you can see, it's pretty long, and I really have the option to do a lot of things with it because it only needs to be as long as this crate. And I only filled up the front half because I'm thinking only the front half will be visible. I'm thinking that I'm going to do just a straight across knot on the top and then maybe try some like V's in it. So anyway, I'm just going to do some macrame magic and you can watch me and see what exactly I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, phase one is complete. That took a really long time, but I have done this knot all the way around the edge just to anchor everything. And I think what I'm going to do now is some square knots. So this is where the crate stands as of now. I have done just some square knots all the way down to the bottom of the crate. And now I am wondering how I want to finish this off. I could either leave it as is and just let it have kind of a raw finish, or I could do another one of these lines at the bottom. I'm still kind of deciding what I want to do. And yeah, I'm actually like very, very, very happy with how this has turned out. I think that it is so much cuter than I could have ever imagined because I was excited for this, but I just wasn't sure how well I would be able to pull it off and it looks really awesome. Okay, the next project that I'm going to be tackling is this shadow box of sorts. And what I think I'm going to do is paint the outside white and the inside a sort of sage greeny color, like my favorite color green. I think that that will just add some nice contrast. I would love to preserve the natural wood color, but the thing is, it just looks old and it needs a new facelift. So I'm just going to quickly wipe it out so that it is prepared for some paint. And then I'm going to paint it, which will be very, very fun. So I have painted it and the paint is mostly dry and so now I'm going to add in the plants. So I have these two propagation vessels that I thrifted and I'm going to be adding these to the inside and I'm just going to be tying them up to the top here on this bar with some string. But let's just see how this goes. DIYs, I have these two metal pieces that need some cleaning. I have this gigantic bottle of ketchup, no clue why, but it is going to come in handy right now. Shake it up and then kind of squirt it on and rub it around and see what happens. And we'll, we'll just have to see. You know, these might be fails, but the rest of these have gone pretty well, so... I've got some room for failure, I guess. <laughs> want to see how we're doing. It doesn't look like this did a ton. Grime is definitely coming off, but it still looks pretty rough. Oh, terrible things happened to this one. I quite possibly ruined it. There are some things in this video that I tried to do that are just a little bit out of my league, but I tried. I really did try. Okay, so I have just come back from the sink and I was really just going in there to wash off the ketchup and then I started to just scrub a little bit and then 
this happened. <laughs> I cannot believe the transformation that has just occurred. And I really don't know if it's because of the ketchup or if it's because it just needed a good scrubbing. My plan for this is to set it inside of a macrame hanger and use this as sort of a something to widen the macrame hanger so that you can fit a bigger plant in it. And in complete transparency, I don't have time to make a macrame hanger. And I also have so many of them sitting around my house that are not being used right now. So I will make sure to link down below a macrame hanger tutorial that I made way at the beginning of my channel, but it is just showing you how I make my hangers. So I'm sorry that I won't be showing you in this video. With that being said, I'm going to just show you how I would use this on one of my macrame hangers that I already have. DIY, I am going to be tackling this weirdo. <laughs> and after some inspection, I found out that it does actually fit a four inch planter. And so I think that, yeah, I'm gonna use it as a little plant stand. And I've decided to anchor it since it's very wobbly, like I would not trust this to hold a plant. I have these wood planks actually from our wedding. We use these, I think with the centerpieces or something like that. And so I'm going to drill a hole in this that is the same size as this hole. And then it's just going to sit inside of it and be a plant stand. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna go well. I have never used a saw like this before, or sorry, not a saw, but a drill like this before. So I did pick up a round drill bit to see if I would be successful. moment. <laughs> this is not going to work and I really don't want to spend any more time on this. No. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll come up with something different in the future and just like hold on to this and maybe I can redeem myself later on. But I'm going to currently call this a fail just because I have to move on because of time constraints. We're all going to forgive me for doing this, right? <laughs> so you might be wondering what my plan is for this. I think that it needs to sit in ketchup a little bit longer. I'm not really sure what what went wrong, but I might have ruined it. <laughs> but the thing is, if you ever see these at your local thrift store, I know that I see them there all the time. I don't know what it is about these. These are candlestick holders, and they are the perfect size to hold miniature test tubes to be a propagation station. I picked up these little glass bottles from... Hobby Lobby. I would definitely prefer them to be bigger, but this is all I could find. You could put it in order on Amazon, or you could just look a little bit harder around you to find bigger test tubes. But for now, these ones will work beautifully, and they fit in here very nicely.
that is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed what I did here. I feel very proud of myself for a lot of these things. There are definitely a few in the bunch that are my favorites and I would love to know what your favorites are that I made. So definitely leave a comment down below and tell me which thrift flip DIY was your favorite. I definitely want to be doing this more often. Like this kind of reminded me how much I love the challenge of DIY. So if you want to see more videos like this, definitely comment down below and let me know. And also don't forget to head over to Harley's channel and see all of the items that I sent her and the items that she is now flipped. It's a really great video. I'm so excited to see all your guys' reactions and this was just so much fun. So thank you Harley for partnering up with me on this. If you guys are here from Harley's channel, definitely stick around, take a load off, you know? <laughs> I do a lot of fun plant stuff over here, plant tips, plant conversations, plant debates, all of these things. I post new plant videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and I would love to have you join our little family over here. I'm so excited that you even clicked on this video, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what I'm doing here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!